Introducing first, in the corner to my left, fighting out of Ireland, he is the Beast of Belfast, Big Damo! And his opponent, to my right, he is Mexico's highest flyer, Here we go, two men uh, unsuccessful in round one of the JT Lightning Invitational Tournament. Uh, both men against similar styled uh, people to themselves as uh, Laredo Kid came up with the short end of the stick against DJ Z and Big Damo in his AIW debut. Uh, came up on the short end of the stick of the measuring stick here in AIW of Raymond Rowe. No shame in either one of those losses, but now you've got these two opposite styles, opposite looking individuals getting ready to lock up for the first time ever. Something, again, you could only see here in AIW. Well, and you talked about them. Yes, they did come up on the short end of the stick in round one. Another thing they both have in common, both of them put on incredible showings in their losses against two of the most accomplished competitors in AIW history. Moreno Kid looking to get the momentum, looking to hit that Rana, and he finally takes Damo over. Big Damo did it. And that right there is the strategy, those hamstring kicks, the outside leg kick. Take a wheel out from under Damo. If he can keep him grounded, then Laredo Kid's going to be able to use that speed advantage. And quickly, you notice Laredo Kid didn't come straight out of that corner. Quickly change angles. Looking to move much faster than Damo can. Acai Moonsault! Moreno Kid definitely pressing the advantage early on. But pressing the advantage early on, he is going to need to stay on Damo to be victorious here. I think he's going to have trouble even getting him back into the ring just due to the size advantage that Damo has on. Well, and that was, I, I was with you on that letter. My first thought was, man, he's got to stay on him. Can't let him get to his feet himself. But I don't know that he's able to roll him back into the ring. I mean, Raymond Rowe, who was one of the strongest men in AIW, had a hard time manhandling Damo last night. And he doesn't struggle with anyone. I can't imagine Laredo Kidd is going to get the better of him in close quarters grappling. And especially not when it ends with your head bouncing off the ring post. Damo, just an absolute bear of a man here, just lifting up. Laredo Kid seemingly with one hand and dropping him throat first across the guardrail on the outside. Both men need to be leery of the count. And Damo throwing those forearms. He threw that forearm. He's not throwing to hit you in the jaw or the chest or the side of the head. He, his contact point is through your head when he throws those forearms. Damon just doing whatever he can, every appendage, every opportunity he sees on Laredo Kid. He's just on the attack here. Cover. Oh, come on now. What does he need to use the advantage like that? He's already got a significant size advantage. He's already going to take enough for Laredo Kid to kick out. You know, I've said before on commentary, it's the guys like this that have these skills, that have this power, that have this size, that when they decide to add into their repertoire the willingness to break or bend the rules in any way that they can see that somehow makes them that much more dangerous because they are willing to take a shortcut in addition to being incredibly talented. Well, and you're talking about a guy like Damo. I, I said it last night. It was my first look at Damo. I had the chance to call that match with the absolute champion, with Ethan Page. And I, my only response I could come up with was the man is a monster when you see him in person, and I don't mean that figuratively. He looks like something out of a universal movie. Just as imposing as can be, and then you see him in action. Laredo Kid, though, definitely wants to avoid exactly the position he's in now. He needs to get back to his feet. He needs to continue to use his speed advantage to change the angles, to move quickly around Damo. 
and take advantage of that huge lateral speed advantage that he has. Right, and, and Matt, as you mentioned, if the longer Laredo kid stays on the canvas, inability to get to his feet, to get to the ropes, to get to the top rope. Oh, and now he is. He's striking. I don't know if this can be an exchange that he's going to win, and he does not. As Damo, with just one kick and one chop, turns things right back into his favor as easily as I said it. Well, and you want to talk about a striking already, are you? visual. Right before he threw that kick, I could see Demo's right leg is, is as big as Laredo Kim's. He is massive. And I know Laredo briefly had that advantage, but he cannot get engaged in a striking battle. He needs to get as far away as fast as he can. And with authority, he gets tossed right into the buckle. And Damo at this point is just playing with Laredo Kid, not even going for a pin, not even pressing his advantage. Backing Laredo in, whips him in one more time. And it's, I mean, he is shifting the ring. He's hitting those corners so hard off those whips. All that body weight into the corner avalanche, too. And barely getting that shoulder up is the Laredo kid. And just by that kick out, it seemed to infuriate Big Damo as he continues the onslaught, continues the punishment, sends him into the buckle. Big head of steam. Oh, and that time Laredo was trying to get out of the way of that avalanche, couldn't fully get out, caught that elbow, but he still got enough that. Damo stunned himself on that corner. That big drop kick from the top, but look how quick Damo is back up. Those kicks followed by that floating rear neck breaker. And now Laredo Kid has the advantage and he needs to continue. A series of kicks here to the torso, follows it up with an Enziguri to take Damo down. And this is what he needs. He's able to get that separation now. He's sent Damo for just long enough. But that beating has taken such an effect on him. So slow, very uncharacteristic out of Laredo Kid to get to the top rope. Those shoulders to the midsection, and this time much faster up top, but once again, Damo is right there. And this Looking is for a superplex, perhaps? No, Laredo Kid fighting his way out of it. Dropped Damo off the ropes. Laredo Kid trying to figure out what he wants to go for. Goes for that twisting senton, misses! And Damo's senton does not miss. Damo one more time, only in two on the cover. And a little bit of frustration. You said he was toying with Laredo Kid earlier. Leonard, he's starting to show that frustration. Now one more time. Pulling Laredo Kid to his feet. Irish whip across. Laredo though catching himself on the rope. And there's that quickness. There's that lateral speed I said he had to use. Using the ropes to help him stay up, heads yep. up top. Damo still up, and he just caught Laredo Kid coming in off the top rope. Laredo Kid trying to fight his way. And catches him with the Tornado DDT out of it. One, two. And with that size advantage, he has got to hook the leg. He's got to do anything he can. Did you see how much it took out of him just to roll Damo to his back? On the second rope, and that's twice he's been in a position and taken off of the top of the middle rope to avoid Damo coming in at him. Damo, don't let his size surprise you. He's got some speed to him as well. He's just not going to be able to match speed with Laredo Kid, just like Laredo Kid's not going to be able to match power with him. Well, and I talked about the need to change angles, and you saw in there's that quickness you were talking about. Damo's up, and he has got him. But a victory roll forward on a Laredo Kid, too! To his feet, ducks the Larry to tap! Oh, and that huge crossbody, too! That's a big boy just coming and flatten you 
out of midair and Damo now, the frustration is starting to get in. He's slapping himself in the face, maybe to get himself psyched up. Maybe to get himself more riled up. Maybe to jog some memory, knock something loose of some sort of plan, some sort of move, some sort of something to put Moreto get away. Yeah. Looking for a second, sent on nobody home. Moreto, get out of the way. And Moreto calling for the 450 splash. Moreto Kid calling 450, but he has taken way, way too long to get this crowd behind him. He gave Damo the chance to get up. Damo up the forearm. Laredo Kid a headbutt looking to fight him off the corner. Trying to gain that needed separation. He drops him. And this time he's in a much better place if he can get his bearings about him. Laredo up top. 450 and the knees are up right to the chest and the jaw. Damo with that drop kick. Head of steam across the ring into it. And now Damo is pissed off. What's he got in mind here? Cinching up. And just dropping Laredo Kid two and three. 